Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iOS 17 Beta 4. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I know you guys are excited for the iOS 17 Beta 4 and so am I. I. Let's dive right in today's video and talk about the iOS 17 Beta 4, what all new features and changes it's gonna bring to our devices and not to forget, let's talk about the release date of iOS 17 Beta 4. My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hype. If you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button because I keep on making these type of videos for you guys and my birthday is on 31st of July and I wanna get to 10k before that so it would mean the world to me right now if you guys can hit that subscribe button as we are super close to 10k all right so i have been using the beta 3 for a long time it's been a rough part of one and a half weeks that we have been using the ios 17 beta 3 the beta 3 also received an update which was a re-release so now a lot of people are wondering that will this re-release affect the actual release of beta 4 because we are aware that apple always do two week cycle with these updates so that means that according to apple the recent the most recent update released by apple the most recent developer update that was right now not even a week ago so will we receive the beta 4 on the decided timings which is next week the day i'm uploading this video is sunday 16th of july 16th of july is when i'm uploading this video and the expected times that apple will release the ios 17 beta 4 is monday or tuesday if not tuesday then probably wednesday but the first three days of next week we have some possibilities let's hope for the best i know you guys are really really excited about it and i am excited about it as well now let's discuss what all issues and things i'm facing on the ios 17 beta 3 as well i'm also going to talk about the things you guys messaged me a lot of you guys messaged me that you guys are having this problem on your ios version this problem on your ios version this problem this problem so don't worry i am going to focus on your issues as well and mention those as i always do in my videos if you also want me to mention the issue you are facing and you want me to help you with that then make sure to hit that subscribe button let me know in comments or on my twitter handle as other people do i will talk about your issue and problem that you are facing on your device on my videos okay so going on with the number one question one of you guys asked me that is getting a respring normal on the beta 3 re-release the answer is yes re-release or it is a blast beta or even it is an rc Resprings are one of the most common iOS behaviors. You should not be worried about them. For people who do not know what Respring is, Respring is basically a partial kind of restart that your iPhone does. What it means is you may have noticed this on your iPhone. I'm pretty sure this is one of the most common occurrences on iPhones. So a respring is when your device screen goes blank and you will see a loading screen in between. And after three, four seconds, the loading screen will get over and you will be on your lock screen. It will not be a restart, but it won't be. Um, <laughs> I don't exactly know how to refer that, but I hope you got my point, what I'm trying to convey. Thank you so much for bearing with me. You guys are the best. <laughs> Anyways, jokes aside, moving on. iOS 17 Beta 3 re-release. The number one issue that I'm having is keyboard bug. The keyboard gets really, really laggy on devices, iPhone 12 and below that keyboard gets really really laggy i have noticed this very often also the temperature rises up when you are typing fast on your iphone and when you are typing fast sometimes it gets really really warm and gets lagging then the only fix that is there is to restart your iphone this issue will be resolved on the beta 4 of ios 17 now let's talk about the new features oh my god the best part of the video right 
But sad to say, there must be no new features. If there will be some new features, it's probably going to be some tweaks or customization options. I highly doubt that Apple will give us any more new features because iOS 17 is more focused towards the bug fixes and reliability. But that doesn't mean we should lose our hopes. Fingers crossed. Let's hope so that we will get more new features and changes on the beta 4 of iOS 17. iOS 17 is not that far from us and it is good to see that we are not having a lot of major problems. For example, when iOS 15 was released, I remember people were having really bad problems with their device on the first few betas. But this time, Apple is not playing any games. Of course, it is a beta and we are going to see some issues that is pretty normal. The battery life is going to be a bit too bad. If it is the ba if battery life is bad for you, don't worry. It is bad for everyone because betas are notorious to do weird things. One day your battery may perform good. The other day it may not perform good. The only devices which are safe from the battery thing is the 13, 14 devices because those are newer devices and more efficient devices. But I have heard a lot of my subscribers with the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 13s, they are also having bad battery life compared to iOS 16 on their device. So don't worry if you are having bad battery life on your device, there is no need to get your battery replaced because there was one of my subscribers who was so having so much anxiety on their head and they were like I, should i get the battery replaced because it is barely lasting me a day don't worry calm down my fam calm down it is completely normal if you are having bad battery life so does i am having so does other people are having bad battery life don't get panicked the personal voice feature takes less time on the beta 3 to process but the beta 4 will improve more upon it because by the time it will be released to public the personal voice will have around five minutes of processing time and this is i'm talking about the process where you set it up everything will take barely five minutes the devices are going to get really, really powerful with these new updates and with these powerful features on our devices. iOS 17 does bring a lot of quality of life improvement features which will enhance the usage of your device. Your day-to-day -day usage of your device will be affected by installing this update. I am really excited for the iOS 17 beta 4 and see what's on the table for us. Let me know down in comments below what all features and new changes are expected by you guys. What all features and changes do you guys want Apple to add? Personally, I want Apple to not just add new features, but just add some tweaks in the already existing features. The same thing what I'm talking about is how they added the colors option and some customization option in the standby. I want Apple to add those kind of features and not something drastically new thank you so much for watching this video till the end my name is jay aka tech hyped i am signing off please hit that subscribe button because we are so close to 10k and i want to get to 10k before my birthday which is on 31st of july peace out and have a great day everyone